Hi, this is Joel Persinger. Thank you for watching my uh, videos. I really appreciate it. I am the gun guy. I'm very grateful that you're watching. I got a great rifle for you today, and that is this rifle from Franklin Armory. I've gotten a lot of things from Franklin Armory, and I, I got to tell you, every time I get something from them, I'm impressed, and that is the case here as well. They, they sent me this to review, and um, I really, really like it. It's, it's got a lot of great features on it. It has a, a heavy bull barrel that is a 20-inch bull barrel. It's hard coat anodized. The upper and lower are both forged. Uh, I like the fact that there's an adjustment screw in the lower to make it uh, adjustable so that you can get rid of the upper lower play because as you know from shooting AR-15s if you shot them at all or if you have them sometimes there's that little bit of wiggle in there and that little screw helps you tighten that up so that that gets rid of that play in the upper and lower and that hopefully will, will uh, mean an increase in accuracy. I gotta tell you this rifle is extremely accurate uh, unfortunately as you can see I didn't have a decent optic to put on it they sent it without any sights uh, as a T&E and so all I had was this cheapy red dot. But I got to tell you, even with a four MOA dot at 100 yards, I got a, I got a two inch group with a four MOA dot. And I had a decent optic on this thing, I'd be willing to bet you my group would have been a quarter of an inch or less. And I just didn't have one to put on it. Uh, it's really unfortunate because I, I really could have demonstrated the accuracy with the rifle. But this is the F-17 from Franklin Armory. It's a little bit different model than some of the others. There are several models. This, I believe, is the VS-4. I hope I get that right. Uh, I like several things about this gun, i got to tell you. I really like the heft of it. It's heavy. It's solid. You can tell the lower and upper are really, really strongly built. I love the heavy barrel. The accuracy is outstanding. I really like this foregrip. It is solid, and it just fits your hand. i got to tell you, every time I've handed this rifle to someone, uh, when we first unpacked it and picked it up, everybody said, wow, that's awesome. I love the foregrip. It's just, you know, it's a round. It's just a cylinder, right? I mean, it's pretty stinking simple, but I got to tell you, it's just as about as comfortable as comfortable gets. The stock is solid. It's a straight stock, but it's solid as a rock. Uh, in general, the uh, the gun is just awesome. I'm really, really impressed with the, with the build quality. I'm impressed with the accuracy. I'm incredibly impressed with the rifle. But like I said, I'm kind of a fan of Franklin Armory stuff anyway. So when they make something, I got to be honest, I'm not particularly surprised when it's made really well and when it functions really well. Now, I do have two issues with the gun, uh, having shot it a lot. And one is that, it, and this is a minor thing, and that is that there is no... I knew there would not be a last round bolt hold open. There just isn't going to be with a 17. However, there is also no manual way to lock the bolt open. So I can push on the bottom of the ping pong paddle, and it'll hold it until I let go, and then it closes up. It would be nice to have a manual bolt hold open. It's kind of minor, but it would be pretty cool if it had one. It doesn't. That's, the, uh, that's one detractor for it. Uh, but frankly, it's such a minor detractor that it wouldn't keep me from, from purchasing the rifle if I wanted to purchase one. Uh, it is a terrific rifle. Now, the other issue is more of a personal nervousness, if you want to call it that. And that is, it's a, we're talking about a rim fire cartridge here. And the way you have to load the mags is you have to put pressure on the rim which is the primer, in order to slide the, the round in. And then for the next round, you have to put pressure on the rim of the cartridge again to slide the round in. And then you have to do it again. And as the spring begins to compress, that's more and more pressure on the rim of the cartridge, which is the primer. Now, I've been a reloader for a long time. And you can tell by the, you know, the powder and primers and reloading stuff and the mech grabber back there and like that. One of the things that makes me the most nervous is the way people handle primers. Because primers can go pop and they can do it with a vengeance. Now I've got my, my round in my hand and I have to put pressure on the rim of the cartridge, which is where the primer is, in order to load the cartridge. I would like to have seen some kind of a setup on this mag that would be maybe similar to the Ruger pistol mags for the Mark I, Mark II, Mark III series. Uh, and that is a little, some little thing on the end that I can grab and pull down a little bit to take the pressure off of that as I feed the round in. So there's, I'm, not putting, I'm not actually pushing the follower and the spring in on the, on the primer. I'm actually just sliding it in very nicely. But right now, you're putting the full pressure on the primer as you load the mag. And that is one design element 
about this gun that I would say I don't like. As a result, I didn't shoot, I didn't load more than about five or six rounds in it because it made me nervous. Now, that's personal nervousness. It may never have made a difference as far as the uh, actual firing of the gun is concerned, but it did bug the tar out of me. So I loaded five, six rounds, and when it started getting too much pressure, I just, the idea of having a round go off while I've got it in my hand really, really disturbed me. So that's the only detraction I could think of. It's not with the rifle itself, it's with the magazines. Now, other than that, the mags are made like rocks. I mean, you, I think I could run this mag over with my truck and it would still work. I'm, I'm amazed at the, at the solid aspect of the mag. I mean, I don't think you could break it with a hammer. Uh, it's awesome. The only, that's the only thing I would add if I were them is I would add a way to be able to pull it down with my fingers so I can load the rounds without having to put pressure on the primer. Other than that, this rifle shoots awesome. It's incredibly accurate, as you can see. It is a terrific gun. In every respect, I am incredibly impressed. So there is the Franklin Armory Winchester Super Mag in 17. It is a terrific gun. If you get your hands on one, uh, check it out. Now for California, the nice thing about it is since it's a rimfire, guess what? You got a standard mag release and a 10 round mag. So if you're looking for a rifle that you want to be able to buy and use as normal, the way you should use an AR, this one will get the job done because since it's a rimfire, at least as far as we can tell so far, it is not uh, involved in the assault weapons ban per se. So if you want to have features on it or want to have a, a regular detachable mag that you can insert and push your mag release and take it right out, you can do that in the state of California because it is a rimfire cartridge. And by the way, if you haven't checked out the 17 Super Winchester Super Mag, that thing rocks. I mean, it just rocks out of the barrel, screaming fast and screaming accurate. So check it out. You can uh, you can look in the description of the video. There is a link to Franklin Armory and a link to this specific rifle. You can check it out there. Uh, it is a terrific rifle. I'm very grateful to Franklin Armory for sending it to me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great week. Please check out Second Call Defense if you get a chance. Uh, look for us on Patreon and certainly join the National Rifle Association. There's links for all of that stuff plus the Gun Guy TV store in the description. All of those help the channel. But they also help the Second Amendment. And that's, uh, that's the most important thing, I think. Have a great week, and be safe.